Hey you guys, what is up my lovelies? Welcome back to my channel today for part number 13 of The Sims 3 University Life. So I know, I know, okay, I know, I know, I know. Everything that happened in the last episode was literally so crazy and I am a snatch basket, a dingle hopper, a thotty tot for keeping y'all waiting for so long okay the drama was too real and i shouldn't have done that to you guys it's disrespectful it's rude and i am just so sorry about it okay i'm such a bully i can't even believe myself <laughs> but it's okay because today we are really excited because it is actually the end of the term i know it feels like we have been doing um university for a while but it is the end of the term which means that we do have to eventually re-enroll and sophia is actually at a gpa of an a so she's doing a little bit better than katrina but that's okay because Katrina is a little bit farther in her technology pursuit than Sophia is. So I don't really know what we're going to do after we leave university. Probably just leave and then re-enroll. We might spend a day in our town, maybe get to know a few people, and then go straight back into university. Just because I feel like, you know, that's what most people do in their Sims 3 University Let's Plays. So definitely thinking about doing that. And of course, at first I was going to go ahead and get um what's her face to jog katrina but i think that we actually have to go after we receive our report cards i don't know it's been a minute since i've played which by the way change the sound because i feel like it's gonna be super loud and we do not want that okay so go ahead and adjust that a little bit thank you very much change this I updated my graphics card so it always like resets anything everything but let's go ahead and go over here and we are going to go for a little jog today and do a little bit of not breaking a sweat because we don't want to be sweaty and disgusting when we get to the quad so right now Sophia is actually asleep she's just kind of chilling like a villain she needs to sleep though she needs some beauty rest because this girl is just She's just crazy, okay? She had a crazy night yesterday. If you guys don't remember, she was flopping her floppers around for everybody and their mama, and it's okay, you know? That, that's just how we do, okay? But she was enjoying herself, having fun at the party, and really trying to get Mr. Moon on her side because, as I said, she does not like Millie, and Mr. Moon proposed to Millie. So that kind of set Katrina, so, not Katrina, Sophia, off a little bit because she was like how dare you how dare you i'm trying to use you and you have the nerve to be happy what, what you think this is this ain't no fairy tale okay this ain't cinderella that's just you know <laughs> sophia is a little crazy she's a little little crazy let's go ahead and check out on katrina though all right so our girl is just a running and i was thinking about when she gets to the quad actually inviting um What's his face? Sid. <laughs> um, it's been a while since we've seen him, so why not? Um, even though he was technically at the party yesterday, but we didn't really hang out with him, so I don't think that counts. So I'm going to go ahead and give him a call. Um, even though she does kind of want to hang out with Micah, so maybe, I don't know, Sid or Micah. I feel like we always hang out with Sid. We'll hang out with Micah. Let's go ahead and invite her over here. Hopefully she can come, and then we'll go ahead and uh, hang out with her. And then maybe we could see Sid before we leave, hopefully. Because, you know, Sid's our boy. You know, we can't just we can't just ditch the Sidster, all right? We're all about the Sidster. And I love how you guys live for Sid and um, Katrina's friendship so much. Will you chill out? Um, you guys live for their friendship so much, and I love it. I really kind of, I don't know, sometimes I feel like when I make friends in the sims you guys are always like oh my god they should date they should date and then they end up dating and it's like oh well there there it goes they find out they're in love all these years <laughs> okay um anyway she is talking to herself and picking in her ear micah is here though so that means that we can actually communicate with somebody instead of looking like a crazy person in the middle of the quad so there's micah she's so cute i'm so happy i gave her a makeover but i mean she was beautiful before she's always been a little beaut I love her. I wish that we could actually move her in as our roommate. What do you guys think about that? Maybe um, once we, what's the word? Once we like move out into a house, if we ever do, I think it'd be pretty cool to have Micah as our um, 
as a another roommate. That'd be pretty interesting. So let me know what you guys think down below. But uh, anyways, we are going to go ahead and just kind of talk to her. I've definitely noticed that Katrina has a little bit more stable friendships than Sophia. Like, Sophia knows of people and, like, she has friends, per se, but they're not really, like, what she considers friends. Like, they may consider her um, their friend, but she does not consider them her friend. You know what I mean? So, um, anyways, let's go ahead and um, just hang out. Let's see what we can actually do in the town, because I feel like the university quad is kind of boring. Um... Here's the problem with university. I feel like there's not enough to do. Like all you can really do is go bowling and go to the coffee shop and you know, the arcade's great, but it's like, it's not something that you could do with somebody else. Like you can't, so I don't really know. Let's go to the beach. Screw it. Let's go to the beach, chilling at the beach and um, let's check on Sophia see what she's up to she's actually making some cheesy spring salad why the house falls apart <laughs> because no one wants a freaking hire a technician like what's going on bro like seriously somebody needs to hire a technician i know i probably have to do it but we're freaking ridiculous everything is broken so we're gonna go ahead and call a repair technician after we eat our food oh my god that music is so loud hold on turn off all right and then we also need to turn off these things from the party last night because that's crazy and then we're also going to put these kegs back in our inventory okay so anyways Katrina and Micah are on their way to the beach to kind of chill out a little bit I don't know we might invite Sid just because it's only the two of them that's kind of you know not fun I think it'd be interesting for them to go camping or something but since there's nothing to do really I'm gonna definitely before we go back to university add some cool new stuff to do because I feel like there is just not a lot for us to do even if it's just adding some extra arcade games into the bolorama just something for us to do okay there is so, are you kidding me? Like, I cannot believe it's raining right now. Um, answer your phone. Answer your phone. Is it Sid? I feel like it is. Um, oh my God. Mr. Moon. <laughs> Mr. Moon wants to know if Katrina Box would like to go on a date. Oh, no, 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 no. no, I would not like to go on a date. I would not. I would not like to go on a date with you. I really would not. All right. That sounds torturous. Anyways, um, gosh, it is raining so hard. This is not what I expected. Um, let's go ahead and I can't even see the separation like in the water. Like I don't even know what's the water and what's not. Like, can you guys tell? I see the line here, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Play in the ocean with Micah. See how successful that'll work out. Um, Cause it is raining so hard. It's not even fun. These girls are tanning. Like, what are you gonna tan with? That's what I would like to know. Yeah, now you now you got rain in your butt crack, girl, because you you just ah <sighs> these women, these crazy women. This Sims Three is a <laughs> is a freaking storm of crazy. Like what? Oh, I could see one of the girls from my high school doing that. Like, oh my God, Becky, I'm gonna get so tanned in the rain. Anyways, um, stop freaking calling me. Oh my God, why does people like obsessed with Katrina? Literally obsessed with her. See, <laughs> literally obsessed with her. No, I mean, I get it. She's beautiful and all, but like, God, give me some space. Why are you so obsessed with me? And there's Micah. She's like, girl, what the hell's going on? She's like, I'm sorry. And she's got her tennis shoes and the water. Oh, no, Micah's leaving. Are you freaking joking me? Like, are you... Oh, this is a big fail. Oh, I'm sad. Okay, you know what? Screw this. Let's go windsurfing. Wait, Sid's here? Hola, 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 hola. Totally just went swoozy there. But where's Sid? Is Sid here? Because, I mean, I'm able to, like, do stuff with him, so he's got to be here somewhere. That's so weird. Maybe he's, like, near us. Anyways, let's go ahead and chat with Micah, see if she... Oh, God. That almost, almost struck Katrina. So close to striking. So close. Okay. 
Um, here, go ahead and meet us over here. Thank you. All right, so they're talking. Uh, she is sitting on this boulder, and uh, they're in the middle of the rain. You know, it's how romantic, you know. How romantic. All right, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and uh, see. Where are you? Where is Sid? I feel like he's here, though, because I should... Because I'm not able to invite him over. So I feel like he's got to be in the same proximity that we're in. Yeah, he definitely is. So, the heck? Sid. Swim here with Sid. Let's see. Or wait, maybe... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Play soccer with... See, I can't do that, but I can boat with him. So he must be on like the other side. He must be like over here somewhere. That's the only explanation that makes any sense. Uh, let's go ahead and play soccer with Micah. And Sophia is on her way over here. And then I think Sophia is gonna be the one to help me find Sid because I have no other clue where he's at. So, um, okay, seems like, all right, maybe he went away because we were able to boat with him. That's so weird. And she's on this rock. They're like levitating right now. Real sexy. All right. Anyways, this freaking rain is ridiculous. Let's go ahead and pick up these flowers because they may give us some extra simoleons. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those really quick. I bet Sophia is freezing with that little skankadoodle outfit she got going on. Just freezing her little chi chis off. It's okay. Uh, anyways, so they're just playing around. Look at the rainbow. It's so beautiful. They're literally in their swimsuits. <laughs> yes, queen. <laughs> oh my God. So I wanted to know, I want to kind of get you guys' opinion on things. What? Who do you think that Katrina would be good with? Let me know on the um, poll. I'm going to put a poll. It's going to be that little eye on the video. And uh, just let me know. So there's going to be some weird combinations. But let me know who is your favorite combination and who you think that Katrina should end up with. You know, she might actually just be an independent woman and be on her own. So definitely give me some votes down below because it will not down below, but on the poll, because it will definitely determine, you know, what I decide to do from here on out. Because I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with her. Um, I kind of know the direction with Sophia as far as romance, but I don't really know my direction with Katrina. I'm just kind of going with the flow and, uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, pretty interesting. Just kind of going with the flow. Um, but yeah, so anyways, let's see if we can. I hate when people that I don't know message me on Instagram. Like, I don't know you. You know, unless it's you guys, obviously. But like some weird dude that's like, hey, girl, you looking real cute. You know, what's your, what's your Snapchat? Get away from me. <laughs> I'm a jerk. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I am going to go ahead and let them play soccer for a little bit. I kind of want to go back to the dorm, though, and just kind of eat some pizza, order some pizza, maybe make some popcorn, just kind of chill, watch some movies, something like that. But I actually do really enjoy spending time with Mrs. Micah here. But let me see if we can go back to the dorm. But we would have to get her to come with us. So let's see if we can go here with Micah. These freaking radios are so annoying. That's the one thing about university is like whenever you're... Somebody always turns on a freaking radio. Like, yo. And the Royals, back when they were in university, I literally just removed all the freaking radios from the dorm. Because it was so annoying. Literally, why are there three radios on at once? Like... <laughs> That's the real question I would like to know, okay? Um, Sophia, go ahead and go home. Go ahead. Actually, yeah, go home. Because I want to invite over Craig here. I like to call him Craig. Um, his name is really Hank, though. But I want to invite him over and see what's up with him. And um, let me see. Come on, Katrina. Hurry the hell up. We ain't got all day, girl. We ain't got all day. All right. Let's go ahead and order a pizza real quick. Let's see. Um, services. Call for services. Gonna call for services. Call for services. 
Come on, I know you're hungry. That's why I'm saying we need to call for a pizza. So you're not hungry anymore. Where is Micah? Is she not coming anymore? Did she like ditch? <laughs> Did she leave us? It's cool. Whatever. It's fine. All right. Well, let's invite over. Yeah, Micah definitely left. All right. Well, let's invite over Sid. He is our only option at this point. Um, and then let's go ahead and grab our mail and uh, check and see if there is any social group jobs going on so that we can improve our social groups a little bit see what's going on with that so we were actually invited to a juice kegger party um it's at 9 59 of course we'll be there sophia is all about the parties <laughs> all about parties all right let's change our outfits and we are going to call hank macklemore and see what's going on with him because I want to get them a little closer. I feel like they would be really good friends. Okay, so play with a flying disc on the university quad. No, that sounds stupid. Let's do something more meaningful. All right, let's see what our mail says. So here, uh, oops, oh my gosh. Hey, there's a letter for Sophia from Jeffrey Dean. It says, I know this is coming out of nowhere, but I think you should take a chance on me. I'm a lot of fun and I think we'd be great together. Oh, Jeffrey Dean, oh, stop. Oh. Anyways. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, there's a letter for Katrina from Sid. I don't know his last name. I can't pronounce that. Okay. It says, I've been dreaming of you and me getting together. Will you make my dreams come true? Guys, 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 oh my God, <laughs> what? Let me, let me repeat this for y'all. The message says, I've been dreaming of you and me getting together. Will you make my dreams come true? This ain't a Disney song, y'all. No, it's not. This is real life. Well, this is Sims, whatever. He's asking her to get together. January is the month for dreaming, girl. It is. It's the month for dreaming. Although it's January right now, but it'll probably be February when this video is posted, but that's all good, okay? Sophia just got a gift in the mail from Hank. The note attached to it reads, I was thinking about you and thought you might like this. Call me. We did just call you. It's really creepy. It's futuristic of you. Scott also said, I've been thinking about you and I thought you might like this. Call me. We gonna sell all that, okay? <laughs> we gonna sell all that. Get our coins, sis. All right, go ahead and sell. Oh, we got some good stuff in here. What? Hold on, we ain't gonna sell that. We might need some of this. Anyways, um, so Katrina is going to go ahead and grab a dare really quick. Uh, buy a juice keg and throw a juice kegger party. That's easy enough. I could do that dare in my sleep, okay? Um, anyways, let's go ahead and call a repair technician because they need to freaking repair the, um, dishwasher. Is Sid going to come over or no? Like, I'm just curious. I wonder how far away he is because he is taking forever and I ain't got all day. Okay. I will hang out with somebody else. <laughs> I will invite Micah over just so she can hang out with me for five minutes and then she'll leave because that's how Micah is. She'd be like, oh my God, Katrina, I'm having so much fun. Well, I gotta go now. <laughs> I gotta go. All right, anyways, um, so this is, we're getting our pizza. By the way, that's what I envision Micah to sound like, just saying. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and grab our pizza. Looks delicioso. Well, now things are weird. Sid, our, Sid freak, sent us that freaking message and now we don't really want him to come over because that's a little weird. Like, I feel like he's like, I don't know. That's a little weird. A little weird. Um, so, he is still engaged to Millie, which is a little weird considering we've been um, who hopping him for the last few weeks. We've been doo whopping. But um, it's fine, you know? Do wop away. I'm just saying. Okay. So, where, dude, if Sid does not come over here, I feel like he's uncomfortable now because, like, we've seen. His message, I feel like he sent it and then he instantly regretted it, you know? It's kind of like those guys that you date. Girls, you know what I'm talking about. Will you get in a relationship with him and then you instantly regret it? It's like that, okay? You know what I mean? So, 
I feel like that's how she's feeling right now. The repair guy is in the Katrina? Dude, what's going on? Are you cute now? <laughs> Let's see what you look like. Because if you look like booty cheeks, I don't know if we can be together. I'm just saying. Where are you? Where is he? The repair technician. Do you guys see him? Because I don't see him. Maybe it's this fog. Oh, there he is. Okay. There he is. Um, I mean, he could look cute with a little makeover. He's okay. That would be a cute love story. By the way, guys, I didn't fart. That was my chair, I swear to God. <laughs> um, that would be a cute love story. Like, he went to go fix my fridge, and then he ended up fixing me. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's cute, though. He's got a very chiseled jaw. His name is Quinton. Quinton. But why is there two N's? I feel like Quinton is Q-U-I-N-T-O-N. I feel like that's Quinton. Uh, let's ask him to hang out. He's kind of cute. I like his eyes. I love, I love gingers. I think they're so adorable. They look like little, little babies. Okay. Come on, Katrina. Get your flirt on. Get your flirt on. She's a little freaked out by the whole Sid thing. I don't, I mean, ah, God, I'm freaked out by the whole Sid thing. He actually has a crush on her. That's crazy. And I just talked about how I want, I'm so happy that they're just friends. <laughs> I swear to God, guys, I didn't do it. Like, I did not plan for that to happen. Like, oh, that's crazy to me. Okay. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and chat with him and get to know him. Talk about the rain. He's actually really cute, but he does need a little bit of a makeover. I'm just saying. Um, maybe we could do it in this part. Maybe we have a few minutes. Do you guys want to give him a makeover now? I feel like I always do university makeovers off camera. So it'd be kind of interesting to do one on camera. And we may not date her or anything, but oh, and we have to leave. <laughs> and it's time to go home. All right. Well, since we have to go home anyways, let's go ahead and give Quinton a good makeover. Okay. Because Quinton, you know, when we get back, when we get back, boo boo. We gonna be all about it all right all about it so i'm not really feeling the uniform but other than that he's actually really scrumptious like the haircut needs some work it looks like ramen noodles but other than that other than your face other than your haircuts you was good okay you was good so um let's see what we're gonna do to mr quinton <laughs> okay um i'm super hyper in this video i apologize guys but this is just the real me this is how i am on a daily so let's see if we could get him a cute little outfit. He's actually not bad, as I said before. I've seen worse looking. Okay. Um, I kind of, I feel like he would have long hair, weirdly enough. I don't know why I feel like he would be a long hair type of repairman. So I'm kind of feeling, I'm kind of feeling this, even though I don't like long hair in real life. I just feel like this would be something he would have. His eyebrows are too thin though, and they make me uncomfortable. So we're gonna change those. Also gonna change this ugly facial hair. Um, we're gonna make it some match root. Yeah, but it doesn't reach, that's weird. Um, let's see. You guys know how much I love facial hair, so I'm down. If guy has facial hair, I'm all about it. Okay. Let's see. He's actually cute. I really like the long hair, but I can't get a long hair that, like, goes with his sideburns. Because I feel like, I don't know if you guys get what I mean. But you see how, like, this connects? I need a long hair that's like that, but I don't think I have one. I think this is the only one that I own. Which, I mean, is fine, but, like... I kind of want to fix his nose because it bothers me. I don't know what it is about his nose, but it's annoying as hell. Uh, I think this music is going to be too loud. I can already feel it. Yep, I knew it. Give me one second, you guys. All right, so um, I'm going to cheat because I don't like his lips. I think they look weird. So I'm just going to make them a little bit thicker. Just give them a little bit more definition. I know... Um, I usually don't change up my male sims too much, but I need to do this with him because he is on the struggle bus, okay? 
He is the passenger of the struggle bus, the struggle bus, okay? Um, and I don't know how I feel about the hair, man. He's really cute, but it's just like the hair is not killing it. Um, and I don't think I, oh, this one's not bad. Or maybe a beanie. I feel like maybe a hat would look better. Like some type of hat or maybe this. Yeah, but this is Sid's haircut. Oh, but that looks so good on him, though. Um, hmm. This is why I don't do this stuff on camera, because it takes me forever to, to get this stuff done. But you guys like to have your own opinions on things. So this, this hair isn't bad. Like, this hair, I think, out of all of them, looks the least horrible. <laughs> looks the least grotesque. So, you know what? We're going to do this one. Just because, it, as I said, it looks the least awful. Okay. And we're also going to give him... First off, let me change him out of his career outfit. Because, of course, he is going to have his career outfit. But I also want him to have, you know, his regular outfits. So, let me see. Let me kind of think of what kind of guy Katrina would probably be into. I feel like she would be more into... Hmm. I don't know. I don't really get a vibe from her when it comes to guys. I feel like she's not picky. <laughs> I feel like she just doesn't care, like, at all. She has minimal cares. Um. Oh, that's the one. <laughs> that's it. All right. Let's do, 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 do. Maybe these. And. Hmm. Mm hmm. We'll make these black. Yeah, that's the ones. All right. All right. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. And let's see. Gonna do no tattoos or anything. I'm gonna make him look a little bit more innocent and like chill, I guess would be the right word. He's really, really skinny, which is okay. Like there's nothing wrong with being that skinny, but because I'm not skinny, but I kind of want to add a little bit more meat on his bones. I like this shirt on him. So we're going to keep that. And then we are going to add a little bit of, little bit of pants here. All right, so I'm down for this. All right, and then let me go ahead and change, as I said, his muscle definition and all that. Okay. Yeah, that's... It's definitely more more of our speed here. You guys know what I'm talking about. You know what I like, okay? <laughs> definitely more of our speed. All right. He's actually really cute. I'm still not I'm still not sure on the hair, but it's fine. You know, whatever. Anyways, you guys. So, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and go back into the game and I will see you guys when we get there. Let me look at the other shoe options though before I say that. Look at Mr. Maintenance Man. Nah, look at that. <laughs> look at Mr. Maintenance. Okay, look at that. <laughs> he is so... Look at him. Look at the way he's looking at her walk away. Look at that. He's like, oh, she's such a mystery. All right, so we are on our way back to the casa, or back home, if you will. And um, I'm going to miss university. I mean, I know we're just going to go right back, but I'm going to miss it. Um, you guys know that once we leave and then come back, we're going to do makeovers. I'm not going to do a full video on it, but I am going to go ahead and change up their outfits a little bit and kind of give them a whole new look. That means their sleepwear, all that stuff is going to be completely different from what it was when we first started university which would be pretty interesting. So this is the end of our first semester, I'm pretty sure, which feels like usually simmers go through first semesters super quickly, but this semester has kind of been slow because we've kind of focused more on the story side of things. But yay, okay, so the term is over. Ah, the memories. This term of your college life has ended. Take a break, sober up, and then come back for an additional enlightenment or debauchery if you prefer. To attend another term, you must re-enroll via your phone or computer. Okay, I will definitely be re-enrolling. So I'm gonna go ahead and let the screen load and I will see you guys when we get to the casa. So we are back at the apartment. Oh my 
my god guys we haven't been at this apartment since the first episode so this is what their little humble abode looks like it's not the best i definitely want to move um now that we have a little bit more simoleons but i'm gonna wait a little bit before we can do that but uh, anyways, Katrina and Sophia are just talking it up. And I do, of course, want to re-enroll in school so that they don't get aged up an extra day or anything like that happens. So I'm going to go ahead and get them to re-enroll. We're just going to re-enroll immediately because there's no point of being in our apartment because we don't even have a bed to sleep in. Like, girl, <laughs> we ain't got nothing. Oh, guys, we don't really have a choice but to re-enroll into school. So I'm going to go ahead and get them to enroll in university. And um, yeah, we're just going to re-enroll. Re-enroll, re-enroll, re-enroll. Re yeah, we're going to re-enroll. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have said it 50,000 times. But anyways, so... Um, she, Sophia actually has a thousand, $2,000 in a financial aid. I don't know why she has $2,000 in financial aid, but I mean, that's cool. Less that we have to pay. Um, so we could obviously afford to go to school because it's only $300 in total, which isn't bad. Um, since, I mean, do we want to just complete it here because... No, but I really don't want to complete it that fast. Oh, okay, then we would just do two terms. Yeah, but then Sophia would have to do so many credits. She'd have to do 36 credits. You know how many classes that's, that is? That's a lot of classes. Because she's almost, I mean, Katrina's almost done. So she does two terms with 24, she'll be done. Hmm. Because I feel like, gosh, I feel like that's so much. Um, hmm. we'll do, uh, la, 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 la. okay, Sophia's going to do one week, so it's going to be one term, 12 credits, and then uh, Katrina is going to do six credits for one term of technology. So that's we're gonna, what we're going to go ahead and do. So um, I guess I do have to go ahead and end this part right on here because we do have to re-enroll in school. And in the next part, we will be back in university for our second, technically our second semester. And so then we'd have one more semester left until we graduated. So anyways, you guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you want to thumbs it down that's okay too girl you still a part of the fam because you know you subscribed or whatever so stay fabulous stay slaying and uh keep it cool okay adios muchachos i will catch you all in my very next video